Welcome back everyone and it's time to go BALLS D! Today we are discussing Yuji Itadori's supposed brothers revealed in the latest chapters of Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, if you are confused, um, I don't blame you, don't worry. I will be explaining the theory in very great detail for the whole community to understand. Currently, in the Jujutsu Kaisen fandom, we all have came to the conclusion regarding what Yuji Itadori's curse technique could be since there has been a couple of hints dropped by the author. I'd really recommend everyone to start reading the Jujutsu Kaisen manga in our community and if you love watching our channel because if you guys keep requesting and you want us to start covering Jujutsu Kaisen manga on a weekly basis we will need to all be on the same page so that we can understand one another when we explain everything that is happening in the current events and then we can create a strong united community on the channel that can enjoy Jujutsu Kaisen a lot more than the casuals you know the casuals that just only watch the anime they don't know shit that's going on they don't know what's the theories what's this what's that I'm going on a little tangent edit this shit out no but anyway please hit the notification bell for the channel and like the video to let us know you want us to do Jujutsu Kaisen manga content for the future and we will start doing this around April I would also like to give a shout out to Dancho's hideout currently he is doing weekly Jujutsu Kaisen content and he is well versed in the series trust me I discussed Jujutsu Kaisen with him on a weekly basis on discord and I believe he has a lot of potential as a youtuber and with the position that I'm in I think I can help the dude out and with your help especially you can help start his career please consider subscribing to him and checking him out i'll put it in the pinned comment and description anyways let me outline a summary of the topic for everyone to understand what we are discussing today number one what is yuji itadori's memory manipulation well yuji's memory manipulation is a theorized technique or ability that yuji activates on people who have killing or threatening intent towards him it is not confirmed how this activates or why thus the whole purpose of this video discussing it. Number two, when was this story concept first introduced? Well, subtly, the manipulation was introduced on Todo in the Goodwill arc after Todo kicked Yuji's head repeatedly and he kept asking him, What kind of women was his type? Bruh. But anyway, Yuji answered tall women with big butts, and I personally think he has some nice taste. You know what I'm saying? My man. Essentially, this caused Todo to hallucinate a pass with Yuji after he gave the answer. This happens once again again in the latest chapters with a curse slash human named Choso. Number 3. How long does this technique go into effect? Well if Todo is an example then the technique seems to last a very long time. Even during the Shibuya incident arc, Todo was still calling Yuji his brother and had a picture of him in his locket. Even in the latest Jujutsu Kaisen chapters, Choso is no longer violent towards Itadori and is working with him. So this seems to have a permanent effect on the people since it's creating a new memory within their brain. Brain. So now that we are all on the same page and we understand the premise of the video, let's begin the theory. Well the theory is that Yuji's memory manipulation is a family ability that may have come from his father and grandfather. This is because Yuji himself says that he can't remember his mother but parts of his dad to Junpei. The author of Jujutsu Kaisen stated that they will introduce Itadori's mother soon into the story in a recent interview. So we have to wait and see what happens and why can't Itadori remember her? So it could be possible possible that Yuji's grandfather also cursed him right before his death. This curse comes from when he said to Yuji help people even if they don't thank you for it be surrounded by people. This could easily correlate back to the memory manipulation to cause those affected to want to become close to Yuji like a brother or best friend. There isn't any concrete information on anything regarding Yuji's memory manipulation except the similarities between the moments it has been seen and used. Yuji also remembered his grandfather before saving Megumi and it's one of his cornerstones to his character. Part of his strong will is tied down to this final memory of his grandfather that he gave to him before he died. So could this technique have been used on Yuji himself as well by maybe his mother, his father or grandfather? We just don't know but parts of the JJK fandom believe so. If we remember correctly Yuji's grandfather wanted to tell him about his parents before he died but Yuji doesn't even remember his mother or father at all. 
would that mean his memories have been deleted by his own family for his own protection? Everyone in the fandom is thinking why the hell is Itadori so strong in comparison to other human beings? Even without cursed energy, he was absolutely busted for a normal person. The Jujutsu Kaisen manga power scaling system has already informed us in some sort of way that genetics do affect what type of person you will be in the universe Gege Akatami has created. Thus, the fandom believes Itadori's genetics will come into play to explain this phenomena of why everyone suddenly thinks he's their brother. However, to counter argue this, we must keep in mind that Gojo with his six eyes said that Itadori doesn't have an innate technique and his soul is merging with Sukuna so he will eventually be able to use his powers. Oh boy oh boy you're probably confused right now. I probably lost like I'd say at least 80% of you are confused right now. Right? Right? I'm, c I'm confused! I'm confused right now G. Yeah, it's a very complicated situation and Choso's reaction makes it even more difficult to understand. But that's what we're here for, right? You need to hit the notification button on the channel and support us so we can break this down, do some CIA, do some in <laughs> do some bruh, Inspector bruh, Gadget bruh. shit over here. Batman level of investigation to figure out the Jujutsu Kaisen plot for you guys. Essentially, you see what is happening is that Yuji's memory manipulation has fooled Choso into believing that when he beat Yuji, he had felt the same sensation he received when his brothers died during the origin of obedience which to Choso automatically means Yuji must be his younger brother. I know that's hard to believe but Yuji's ability is even making Choso feel his ability being used even when it wasn't which is much deeper than just changing around some memories. It seems that the memory manipulation specifically changes or alters a specific trait of a person that will convince them that Yuji is someone close to them. Choso's connection to his biological logical brothers and Todo's habit for hallucinating scenes with his favorite idol are an example of this. This of course isn't confirmed but from Akatami show don't tell style with his traits of how he writes the story this seems very plausible. So what are the similarities between these two situations? Why does the technique activate right? The key similarity to notice is the stimulus and satisfaction both Choso and Todo felt right before the memory manipulation activate. For Todo it was the the excitement of asking Yuji what his type of woman he liked and getting a response he agreed with. And for Choso, it was the excitement and satisfaction with finally killing Yuji whilst also avenging his brothers. Considering it is a technique that affects the brain, it would make sense that the stimulation to the brain from excitement would perfectly fit for the trigger of this technique. After this, Yuji actually starts calling Todo best friend and brother throughout the Goodwill arc and especially in the Hanami fight, where the two of them moved in perfect unison helping Yuji perfect his black flash technique. However, after the event of Goodwill, Todo is seen popping up in Megumi's hospital room where he says he is impressed by Megumi and Nobara and that he isn't surprised because they are friends with his brother Yuji. Yuji is actually creeped out by this and he runs away with Todo behind him yelling, Where are you going brother? And Yuji responds, I'm thankful but it wasn't myself, I'm not your brother. So there is a possibility Yuji Yuji can be affected by the technique himself, but that remains to be confirmed. The second instance where Yuji's memory manipulation kicks in is during Yuji's fight with Choso in chapter 106, during the Shibuya incident arc. The circumstances around this activation are similar to Todo's. We broke it down to find the key similarities that could be the trigger to the technique. First and foremost, this is a fight that Yuji had lost. Even with the help of Mekamaru, Yuji's lack of battle experience caused him to lose against Choso who was much more battle hardened. Yuji gets his shoulder blown out by Choso and gets sent flying into a wall where becoming unconscious just like with Todo right? But the big difference here is that instead of asking Yuji a question, Choso says to Yuji make sure you ask my brothers for forgiveness on the other side and then boom memory manipulation kicks in and Choso starts to see fake memories of Yuji calling him brother whilst with Choso's actual brothers Iso and Keshizu. Choso however has a very different initial reaction to the memory manipulation than Todo, where Todo seemed happy and very accepting for seeing all the memories of him and Yuji. Choso states out loud that Yuji should not be in his memories and he starts screaming while holding his head as if he is going insane. This causes Choso to walk away and sit in a corner crying whilst confused as he tries to make sense of the memories flooding into his head, even saying, Yuji Itadori, what are you? I have to know. And 
what am I? So I think Yuji's parents will play a role once again. So this foreshadows the fact once again that Yuji's bloodline may be in play and what his grandparents was trying to warn him about before he died. Anyway, this prompts Choso to go searching for Yuji and he finds him facing off against a fake ghetto. Choso then goes on a monologue saying that he has the ability to sense when any of his siblings go through a transformation or death. And at the moment, he felt like he killed Yuji and the moment he felt like he killed Yuji, he felt his death. So it must mean that Yuji is indeed his brother. The second trigger and similarity to both situations is the killing intent or at least doing heavy damage to Yuji. Both Todo and Choso put Yuji in a situation that caused him to go unconscious for a period of time and caused him to bleed heavily. Choso's damage to Yuji was much more severe than Todo's but both had had a heavy intent to do major damage to Yuji. It seems that memory manipulation is a defensive technique that protects Yuji from death. Now the next big question for Yuji's ability is where it came from. The main speculation that we came to is the final conversation Yuji has with his grandpa before his death. He tells Yuji to help people even if they don't ask for it and to make sure he dies surrounded by people. This is where we put our assumption hats on but it is possible that Yuji's grandpa could have cursed Yuji with this technique causing the memory manipulation to happen. Yuji himself even says that I've got a curse of my own when he was protecting Megumi from the curse that surprised him in the school. This could be Akutami's way to foreshadow the deep effect of Yuji's grandpa's death. So there is a good possibility that Yuji's grandpa could have been a sorcerer and indirectly put a technique on Yuji or maybe his mom or maybe his father we just don't know yet and I'm hoping that Gege Akutami will reveal it soon. On the other hand and on the other side of the theory it is possible that Yuji had awoken this technique after eating Sukuna's finger and now he has a secret weapon against his foes. Some parts of the JJK community have argued that Sukuna may have used the same technique as well in chapter 116 against Jogo. Their reasons come from the scene where Jogo is seen crying in front of Sukuna and he says what is this and Sukuna responds don't ask me I don't know what that is either however the counter argument to this suggestion is the context of the situation this is because Jogo versus Sukuna is drastically different from the other scenarios and on top of that we got no narration saying Jogo saw memories that never existed like we did with Toro and Choso right Yuji is somehow implanting memories into people and creating it within their brain it seems to work on Choso because he is part human we have to wait and see if it does on a completely cursed spirit. I mean, Jogo is a literal volcano and you're telling me he must have some peanut sized brain in there that he manipulated so somehow, bro? Isn't he just a mass of cursed energy based upon fears of the natural disaster of volcanoes in the first place? On top of that, in chapter 116, when he is experiencing these memories and crying, Hanami and Dogon were there for this interaction. This was Akatami's way showing us that curse is passing on, not a new memory that never existed. It is clear that Jogo was talking about the tears coming down on his face. Considering he sees himself as a ruthless, crying would be the last thing that he expects of himself. Our interpretation is that he never felt such feelings before and then he does it for the first time after being so useless in front of Sukuna and so powerless, he's felt so remorseful and he's like, oh my god, I'm fucking pussy. Sukuna basically cannot relate to such weakness, therefore it's highlighting Sukuna's merciless and hard-hearted type personality in his dialogue. Anyway guys that is the whole theory encompassed into one video. That is every argument and two sides of the coin. Every side of the argument in the JJK community basically. And let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Why can Yuji Itadori do this? How does this technique work? And as I said we do JJK content on a weekly basis so I hope you can hit the notification button and like the video and I'll see you guys next time.